Imagine every day billions of pounds of waste like metal, plastic, and paper are discarded, even though they contain recyclable value that could be profitable and help protect the environment. In this video, we'll take you on a recycling and refining journey where you can earn up to $200 from what seems like worthless trash. Continuing the aluminum recycling process, tens of thousands of pounds of metal scraps are collected and fed into a modern production line. The high capacity crusher runs continuously, breaking the aluminum into small pieces before it's placed into a furnace set to 1220 degrees Fahrenheit. As the aluminum melts into liquid metal, it's poured into molds and extruded into shiny C-grade aluminum bars, ready for industrial applications. Tons of pure copper are recovered from old AC compressors, with a purity level of up to 99.9%. Large copper bars, weighing thousands of pounds, are placed into a furnace and melted at high temperatures. The molten metal is then drawn through molds to form large copper wire ready for use in UPS systems and industrial electrical equipment. At the factory, tons of old naval ship anchor chains are collected and processed for recycling. Heavy metal blocks weighing thousands of pounds are melted in the furnace at high temperatures. They are then forged into new, durable chains connected to truck axles and ready for use in transportation and heavy industry. Have you ever wondered how a sharp blade is created? This blade is forged from high carbon steel 1075, going through a process of intense red hot heating and hammer forging, with each layer of steel being compacted tightly. With every hammer strike, the steel becomes stronger and sharper. I'm excited to have you join me on this fascinating journey.
At the factory, over 500 old steel oil drums, each weighing about 44 pounds, are fed into the recycling line every day. A 100-ton hydraulic cutter compresses and cuts the drums before they are melted in a furnace set to 2,192 degrees Fahrenheit, transforming the metal into high-quality steel pipes. If you're interested in these recycling journeys, leave a one in the comments to share your passion for protecting the environment and efficiently utilizing resources. Wow! Witnessing the recycling process of old radiators is truly awe-inspiring. Tons of old metal radiators are collected and fed into a massive crusher. The aluminum is then separated, melted at high temperatures, and cast into pure aluminum wire. These wires, weighing thousands of pounds, will serve industrial applications from construction to electronics. The fascinating truth behind scrap metal recycling is truly impressive. Tons of scrap metal from old equipment to metal structures are collected and placed into a furnace at extremely high temperatures. This process transforms them into new, strong, and pure iron, ready for industrial applications. These iron blocks, weighing thousands of pounds, will continue the recycling cycle and be used across various industries. Tons of scrap metal, from steel debris to old parts, are collected and placed into a furnace at temperatures exceeding 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit to melt into liquid metal. This process removes impurities, ensuring the purity of the metal. The metal is then cast into long, durable iron bars, drawn through molds to shape them and ready for use in construction and industrial applications.
Sir. In Pakistan, one of the largest plants has a recycling capacity of up to 132 million pounds of pet plastic each year. The plastic pieces are shredded, melted down, and molded into new products, ranging from packaging to construction materials. This process not only reduces pollution, but also generates significant profit. Have you ever wondered how old plastic bags can become new ones? Every year, around 440,925 pounds of old plastic bags are collected and sent through the recycling line. These plastic bags are shredded, cleaned, then melted and molded into new, durable bags. The recycling process not only helps reduce pollution, but also creates new products ready to serve the market. Have you ever wondered how old soda cans are recycled? Millions of cans, weighing thousands of pounds, are collected and sent through the recycling process. After being shredded and melted, they transform into beautiful, shiny silver electrical wires. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a 1 in the comments to watch more fascinating videos. You'll be amazed to learn how old silver aluminum is recycled into electric motors. Over 5,000 pounds of scrap aluminum collected from old milling machines are sent through the recycling process. After being shredded, melted, and molded, they become high-quality recycled milling machine parts ready for production. Have you ever wondered where the millions of plastic bottles we throw away every day go? The recycling process not only helps protect the environment but also provides a significant source of income. At the Trash Foundry plant, millions of plastic bottles are recycled, transforming into new, useful and valuable products.